attention, then guess what? You got a baby now. Right. But the father never around. Right. You know that's the only one. You know, you know when I was living in Milwaukee, you from Milwaukee? Now when you were in Milwaukee, what you always see? Who do you see more by themselves with their kids? Do you see white women by themselves pushing with strollers? Look, see, I ain't get the finish. You know that song already. Right. The black woman that that's Say it again. Because you want to work. Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Everybody got to learn. We all got to learn, sis. of Genesis. Tell your sister what color God is. He black. Now, why would you think he white? I want to believe it. But you said you what? I want to believe it. You want to believe it? I'm going to show you without a shadow of a doubt God is a black man. Watch this in the Bible. That's your son, your grandson, your nephew, your... That's your son. You got to teach him that. That the same hair that he got on his head, that woolly natural hair, that's the same hair that God got. That's right. My brother right there, how old is you while you eating that ice cream? You old enough. How old is he? You 12. Can I ask some questions? Okay, cool. I'm going to ask you a question real quick. Watch this. His head and his hair were white like wool. Everybody look at the young 12 year old brother. Look at his hair. That's woolly hair. That's right. We got the greatest texture of hair, but you know what? A lot of times, when we think God is white, that's why sisters are braiding their real hair and put glue in it, and then put a styling cap on top of it, and then put a sew in and a wig on top. Bring it up. Talking about I'm a bad B. But no, you follow behind white man. You follow an Indian your oppressor. Yeah. Then when you take all that stuff out, guess what? My edges. My edges. You ball, now you ball head. Now you ain't got no edges. Because you didn't put glue in there. Or the worst one is when the sister get the way to sew in with, she get into a fight. Ooh! Ooh, somebody, hem, hem, pull all that out. Guess what? Now she got a whole look. <laughs> hey, give me Isaiah 3. I'm going to show you that. Watch this. Yeah, no, finish that. But go to Isaiah 3 then. As white as snow. Uh -huh. and, his, and his eyes were the flame of fire. So Genesis, now you learn that his eyes fire. My sister Lily, what color is his eyes right here? Which one got red eyes? She gonna punch the water. Uh, my sister, look at the eyes. Who got red eyes? My sister in the back. Which one of these bitches got red eyes? Cause she's just like, no, I can't let go of white man. I've been taught a whole life that that's Jesus. Which one got red eyes? Y'all can't look at the eyes and see? Hey, hey, bro, James, help him out. Which one got red eyes? Look, look now! You just learned it. Genesis just learned it. 
James learned it. I read. Which one is Jesus Christ? Which one? That's not true. That's not true here. Yeah, yeah. That which, which one? This one? That's not true. God is a black man in the Bible. We just read. You frown your face, come listen. Watch this real fast. Don't go nowhere. I just got to show up real quick. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, hey, Officer Young, show up real quick. Or show up real quick with the, with the pitch on the fly. Uh, right here, Matthew 19. I'm going to show y'all how we get into heaven. Watch this. Matthew chapter 19, verse 18. And we know. And you see how she act when she found out Jesus wasn't white? Man, she said, she said, what? Yeah. No, it's my boy. It's my boy. He's not white. Why is it that we so attached to this image and this image has destroyed our people? It made us to be subservient to, to white people like it ain't no day. We do anything they say without question. But the minute our people that look like us stand up, now all of a sudden we got hatred for each other. That's why it's important we have to come back to understanding the true image of God. You can't say you praying to God, you believe on God, but then when you ask what he look like, everybody else know what they God look like, but they, they got pictures of they God, but when it comes to us, we say stuff like, he all colors, right. he don't matter, right. I don't know, I never seen him. But the Buddhist man got a fat little statue of an unhealthy little obese gold polished dude. Right. The Indians got the damn elephant or uh, Krishna or whatever, the 8-6 arm. Everybody else, when they serving them idols and them false gods, you ask them, they stand 10 toes on there. Yeah, right. Right. They be like, oh, say, my, 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 my. you ask the Muslims, these Muslims, hey, hey, they be standing strong on it. But you ask the chosen people of God, the only people with a God, and now all of a sudden we ain't got time. You know? It don't matter what he look like. Right. Now the sudden it's just, oh wait, he look like you, you serve a God that look like other people. But everybody else God look like them. Why is that? You ever wondered that? You ever wondered that? Our people don't wonder that. Watch this. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do? So Lily, what do you think you should do? Do you think God gonna let you in heaven with pants on? Because you know, like, when people go to these white parties, the ball parties, the black, black parties, polo parties, the bashes and all that, you remember the days? You remember polo, polo bashes and all that? What you had to have on in order to get in the polo bash? A polo shirt, right? <laughs> James, James, don't, hey, stay, stay with me, bro. Don't start to realize the thing about stuff that polo bash. All right. So look, even at the polo bash, when you go to, like, a ballroom, a white party and all of that, right. what you got to have on to get in an all-white party? So do you think God gonna let you into heaven and you just gonna wear whatever the hell you want to? No, it don't work like that. Read that I may have eternal life. Uh -huh. He said unto him. So now he's answering the question of what you must do to have eternal life. Lily, do you want that? Do y'all want? Do you want eternal life? Watch this. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. That is God. Uh -huh. But I will enter into life. So if you're going to enter into life, if you're going to get into heaven, watch this. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So he said, you are going to keep the commandments. Christ had his own mouth telling you how to get into heaven. Right. Did you ever hear that when you follow behind this image? Have you ever heard Matthew 19 about how God clearly explains how to get into heaven? Or how God clearly told you that it's just a black man? Have you ever heard of that? You don't remember? Okay, I'm going to ask you this. Do you want to get into heaven? Do you want to keep commandments? Do you want to keep Now we're going to see. Because God till he tell you, if you love me, keep my commandments. It's that simple. Now we're showing you. Hermano, how do I see this? No, read it. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman, really, the woman shall not wear. God says, shall not wear. Shall not wear. Lily, don't let your phone distract you because I don't know why. why what you doing in the car? Your bus coming. I'm going to tell you this before you get on the bus. I'm going to make it real quick. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God said the woman shall not wear what pertains to man, which is what? Not, what do you see all these men out here that we got on? They got a zipper in the front of it. What? No problem. Right. Now you gotta reform.
transform your mind and come back to righteousness. Come back to what God instructs us to do. But you know, when women wear pants, men look at their butt, and then women like the attention, then guess what? You got a baby now. Right. But the father never around. Right. You know that's the only you know you know when I was living in Milwaukee, you from Milwaukee? Now, when you in Milwaukee, what you always see? Who do you see more by themselves with their kids? Do you see white women by themselves pushing with strollers? Look, see, I ain't even get the finish. Right. You know that song already. Right. The black woman that. Say it again. Because I'm one of them. Because you want to what? One of them black women that don't have fathers. No, you an Israelite. You do got a father. You do got one. You looking at him right here. Right. Give me some uh, Sarah four. Father to the fathers. Four ten. Something like that. What I want to show you, sis, you don't have to do it by yourself. And I'm going to tell you, it got to be said, a woman can't raise a man. That's right. You got to accept that. It takes men to lead men. Right. And the women got to teach the younger women. You have a role. It's just up to you if you want to accept it. You say, I'm one of them. No, you're not. You an Israelite that's, that's coming in back to your understanding. Right. You're not a black woman. You an Israelite. And the Israelite don't wear pants. Israelite women don't wear pants. Right. Pants is for the men to wear. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is you.